we're on a collision course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the next coach. Um, will it be Ben Johnson? I don't know. I hope it is. I'm not, you know, getting my hopes high because it's the Bears and you should never do that. But I do find it very interesting that that article, that uh, news came out last week that he wanted the Bears in the offseason. And then Rich Eisen brought it up again today on his show today and said again that he said, I'm not going to quote anything, but I hear that Ben Johnson wants the Bears job. I had a, a little, uh, I won't say altercation, but a little, little, little debate with a Twitter uh, mm. follower today, and they said that, why Ben Johnson want to coach the Bears? You can think whatever you want to think about the Bears organization. You'll probably be right, but this is a this is a very attractive spot. Say what you want to say. Everybody want to coach this kid, coach these weapons. If you're Ben Johnson, this would be good to work with this team. And my question for y'all is: Are we on a collision course? Uh, so are we ready for another first time? Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, that person. Else? Yeah. Who else you gonna get? There's no. There's no established. Belichick Bill ain't Coach coming here, fam. He's going to New. He's going to New York. I'll be real, Belichick. I love Bill Belichick. I think he's the greatest coach of all time. I don't know how long Bill Belichick in 2024. I like hey, him. I like. I like this. I like this. This. This version of Bill Belichick. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah, like. I mean, he's what, good. I, he's good on TV. I, don't know how I like. I like this Belichick. He could stay where he at. Do you? Okay. Do you want Phil Jackson come out of retirement to coach the Grizzlies? Like to me, that's what it would be like. You got the greatest coach of all time to coach the young nigga team. Like I, I, I'll be strong that. And, and yeah, I don't know. Ben Johnson might not be a great head coach. I don't know. But it's kind of like the Caleb thing, where even if Caleb fails, at least they went after the best option. If you well, fail, and to me, it's kind of like I'm gonna give you a game comparison. If you lose a game, let's say you the Lakers, right? You can, you can, you can, you can accept losing the game with LeBron missing the last shot. You can. You can't accept it with Rui Hachimura missing the game. Then you're going to think, damn, I should have gave that to Brown to AD. So I can accept you going after the hottest name in Ben Johnson, and he just don't pan out. At least you went after it. Don't give me, oh, music, we messed up not hiring Cliff as offensive coordinator. You know what we should do? We should make him our head coach. Or, hey, Lincoln Riley's over there huffing it up in, in, in USC. Caleb's this guy. Let's bring him. Like, that's Bears. For one time, and the funniest thing about the I don't want to pay thing is crazy because that doesn't even go against the salary cap. Coaches' salaries don't go against the salary cap, and it's nutty to me. Just go out there and get them. So my question to both of y'all is, are we on a Ben Johnson collision course, or are the Bears going to find another way to Bears this up? We're going we're gonna to collision course with somebody. I don't think it's going to be Ben. I think the Bears are going to find a way to not land that top guy. And, and that may not be a bad thing because I think at the end of the day, always trying to go with the person that everybody assumes is a sure thing, you know, just the way things have been going for us, we would be the ones to fuck that up. And, like, you know, so um, I don't think they're going to end up with Ben Johnson. I think they're going to actually let uh, Ryan Poles do an extensive search and really bring in an offensive mind for Caleb. But, man, if, if you don't pick the whole line, it don't matter who you bring in. It, 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 it means nothing. I think that's why they're on the collision course with Ben Johnson. When you look at when you look at the Detroit Lions, even even though they got golf and Montgomery and Gibbs and all of that, even I don't know what the hell going on. Um, even though they they got all of that, they're great in the trenches. They're great on the offensive line. Also, Ben is going taking care of Ben. And giving him what he wants hurts the Detroit Lions. Don't get me wrong. I like the whole the whole grit and grind thing of of Dan Campbell and all of that shit. But you can't tell me that Ben Johnson ain't the straw that um that stirs the drink. You can't tell me that that's not the case. Um, so if you get him and you poach a couple of other people. I think that you have the office of coach that's going to simplify the game as well. You look at Jared Goff. They've simplified the game for Jared Goff as well. So you need somebody that's going to be able to do that 
bring the run game back. They had two quality running backs. We have two quality running backs. Kind of a similar situation where we're struggling at. We're struggling at the trenches. I think Ben Johnson's going to simplify the game, and he's going to bring the trenches back, and he's going to be able to poach some of the good coaches on that offensive side of the ball. I think it's a no-brainer that you give that man what he wants and just live with the consequences from there.